Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to share something that the Holy Spirit um, was just revealing to me uh, today. Um, so I was having a discussion with God and he was just reminding me of my first day of high school. I was attending Arundel. I was super excited. And um, there's one thing I will never forget is the conversation that I had with my father in the car. And it was more of a lecture than it was a conversation. And he just kept insisting, was persisting that, you know, you really need to be careful about the friends that you keep. And in my head, like, it really didn't make sense because I thought, you know, they're my friends. Like, this has got nothing to do with you kind of thing. But what I didn't realize then and what I realize now is that my father was teaching me a spiritual concept about the company that you keep. See, the Holy Spirit took me to 1 Samuel chapter 19. And there um, we see that Saul was so consumed at finding David. Because David had fled the castle and Saul had been trying to kill him. So Saul would send out messengers to try and pinpoint the location of David so that he could kill David. Um, and in doing so, the Bible says that when the messengers were in the company of prophets, they began to prophesy. And this happened not only once, not twice, not three times, but four times. And in the fourth time, Saul himself was amongst the messengers and he began to prophesy. And the Bible says that even the people that were around Saul, they thought that Saul had become a prophet. And that's something that blew my mind in so many million directions because the Holy Spirit then began to make me realize that the people that you keep around you have, uh, they have a direct impact on your spirit. See, these people, the messengers were only around the prophets for probably just but a day. And they began to prophesy. What more the people or the company that you keep around you, that you see constantly day by day. And the Holy Spirit just began to tell me that you need to evaluate the people that you call friend. Because if they are not helping you pursue what God has placed in you, they're not helping you pursue the purpose and the destiny that God has created, then these are the people that you need to flee from. Because I've come to understand how important friends are. They affect your spirit, man. They affect your relationship with God. And if they do not contribute positively, then you're in trouble. The Bible says, deep calleth unto deep. Iron, iron sharpeneth iron in Proverbs. And that cannot happen. You cannot, you cannot be the better version of who you are if the people that are, you're surrounding yourself are, are blunt. They're, they don't contribute to anything, your, anything spiritual in your life. And that scared me just a little bit. So the next time you decide that somebody wants to be your friend, you need to sit down and ask them 10,000 questions. How concerned are they about you with your purpose? How concerned are they about your spirit life? But most importantly, where are they going with God? If you are sold out for Jesus, if you are serious about your salvation, you need to test and approve each and every person that you call friend because they impact your life. I, I don't know, maybe I feel like I'm worrying now. The ability to prophesy just by being around prophets. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, that goes beyond anything that I could ever imagine. But I just thought I'd encourage you just to check, to test and approve the people that you call friends. Because if you don't, you are killing yourself indirectly. See, I used to think that as long as I was okay, what was going on in everybody else's spiritual life didn't affect me. But this verse completely changed my mind. This verse completely changed my belief altogether. And now the people, there are very few people that I call friend because I've come to understand that that word or term friend is it. The company that you keep is really important. Um, I know so many people have spoken about this and I just felt like I just really needed to... <laughs> share what God was saying to me. But I really hope it helps you out in figuring out what it is that you're supposed to do or who it is that you're supposed to keep around you. If they're not building you up spiritually, if they're not edifying you in any way, then I've come to announce to you that it's time for you to let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Anyway, I should probably go study, but have a good night. Um, God bless you wherever you are and have an amazing, amazing, amazing day.